Hi and welcome to Peacemake TV. In today's video for WordPress, we're going to go over five plugins that I recommend every single WordPress installation that you do has installed. Now, why do we want these five plugins in there? Because effectively what they're going to do is in either enhance the whole WordPress experience for you, or they're going to give you options to increase your security, make great looking websites, and just ease the process of creating complicated page layouts quickly and easily without having to get into any underlying code or short codes. So let's take a look at those five plugins right now. So the first thing I'd always recommend whenever you install a copy of WordPress is to make sure that you increase the security. Now WordPress is a great piece of software but one of the problems is when they update it, they also put out a list of all the bugs and insecurities. So that means that any, should we say, would-be hackers out there will know exactly what flaws to look for to exploit. So by installing a good security plugin, you're going to make sure that you improve the quality and the security behind your WordPress install. And obviously the other thing is to make sure that all of your plugins and all WordPress installations are up to date whenever a new version comes out. So the first plugin we're going to look at is iThemes Security. So iThemes Security comes in two different versions. It comes in the free version, which I'd recommend using, and it comes in the pro version, which has some extra facilities, which you have to pay for. Now, I've always found that the free version has everything I need in there to ensure that they can improve the security of my WordPress installations. So I'd recommend downloading that, installing it, and then running through the video that we've got covered on this channel that'll show you how to set it up to make sure that you've got a good level of security on your particular WordPress. So I'll link to that in the description below, and I'll also pop that up in one of the cards in the top corner right now so you can see exactly how to get to that particular uh, tutorial. Next on our top five plugins for WordPress is the Yoast SEO plugin. Again, this is a completely free option. There is a paid version available if you want to use that, but I, again, recommend just using the free option unless there's something in the paid version that you really need to have. So why the SEO plugin by Yoast? Well, SEO, or search engine optimization, is probably one of the most fundamental things on your website second only to the content. By making sure that you, in, you have good SEO on your page and on your site and everything else throughout your entire site, you're going to give your website the best opportunity to be found through search engines. So with the SEO plugin by Yoast, this gives you a fantastic way of being able to do on-page SEO analysis as well as tweaking and customizing the SEO that you have available. So I've got a video tutorial on this that'll show you exactly how to use all of these different features, but I would recommend downloading this, installing it. It's number one in the SEO market for a reason, because it's easy to use, powerful, versatile, and gives good results. So that's the Yoast SEO plugin. So the third WordPress plugin in our top five countdown is the Admin Columns plugin. Now, again, there are two versions of this available. There's the free version, which I'd recommend installing because it gives you 90% of what everybody would ever want. If you find there's something in the paid version that you can't live without, by all means, purchase that. But for most people, the free version should do everything you want. So why do I recommend this one? Well, the reality is WordPress's admin is a great place to work, but it could do with some little tweaks and some enhancements. So with this, you can customize the whole layout of every single section of your website. So you can go into your posts and you can easily add in extra columns, take out things that you don't want in there. So for example, if you don't have comments activated on your pages or posts, well, you don't need to have that counter on your admin. So you can easily get rid of that and replace it with something that's more useful, such as a word count or the featured image. So you can quickly scan through your pages or your posts and you can identify which one's which by the featured image on there much quicker and a much more visual way of working than it is to rely upon the default vanilla installation of the WordPress admin. So I'd recommend downloading that, installing it, testing it out. Again, I've got a video tutorial on how to install this and use it. I'll pop a link in the top corner right now and in the description below so you can follow along with the tutorial so you can see exactly how to get the best out of this free plugin. So the fourth plugin on our countdown is Visual Composer. 
Now, Visual Composer is a visual way of creating complex page layouts without having to deal with any single line of code or short codes throughout your entire WordPress website. So why do I recommend it? Well, it's just easy. It's one of those pieces of software that makes you life as a web developer or your life as someone that actually deals with the content on a website or even if you've just got your own personal website. It just makes the whole experience of creating pages through drag and drop environment, through creating templates so you can speed up the whole process if you're doing repetitive tasks, through all the extra facilities that this particular piece of software, this plugin allows you to get out of WordPress, it's worth the very, very small $34 investment in getting this amazing piece of software. Over a million people are using this, whether that's bundled with commercial themes that they purchased or whether they bought it outright directly from Code Canyon. It really does offer the non-technical person a great way of creating very, very good-looking very, very mobile-friendly, versatile page layouts quickly and easily. And this should work with almost every theme that's out there. Obviously, there may be a couple that you don't have a particularly great experience with, but check it out. It's worth every single penny. Now, I've got lots of tutorials to this, so I'll put a link out to the playlist in the top corner and in the description below. And if you find that you do like this, this particular piece of software, please consider clicking the link below because it's an affiliate link and we got a small amount of money back to help support this channel. So let's move on and take a look at the fifth plugin that I'd recommend for every WordPress installation. So the one I definitely recommend is Slider Revolution 5. Now why do I recommend this slider over some of the other options out there? Well, it's just so easy to work with and very, very powerful. You've got such an array of different sort of slides that you can create, the way you can embed videos in there, the whole way that the timeline works, and take all of those amazing features out of the equation. One of the things that I find the best about this is it's a plugin that is heavily developed and supported. So you know that new features are going to come out, bugs are going to be rectified, and any issues that ship with any particular version of this will be updated and corrected very, very quickly. So not only do you get a very powerful way of creating eye-catching, versatile and great slides for converting visitors into subscribers or into buyers, you just get a great product with great support. Now I've got lots of video tutorials on this on the channel and I would recommend take, checking those out. I'll put a link to the playlist in the description below and also in the top right hand corner right now so you can click that and take a look at all the tutorials so it'll help you get the most out of this fantastic slider so if you're considering buying slider revolution 5 and it's not bundled with your theme please consider clicking the link in the description below it's an affiliate link which means that we get a small portion of the amount of money you pay for this product which we can then reinvest back into this channel and the whole peacemag tv network well, that's the top five I'd recommend, and these are the five plugins that I install in pretty much every website that I develop, whether that's for myself or whether it's for part of my business. But there's one other bonus WordPress plugin that I want to share with you. So Insanity is one of those little plugins that you come across that just makes you have an easier life when you're working with images in WordPress. So what it does is two things. It allows you to set the size of images and it'll resize them to fall within those parameters when the image is being uploaded. So for example, if you had a 200 pixel by 200 pixel image that you were uploading to your website, you may want to limit that to 1000 by 1000 so you don't end up with massive images that are taking up a huge amount of resources and space, storage space on your server. Well, this is going to do exactly that so you can specify exactly where and how it actually cuts down and compresses those images. So while when you've installed Insanity, you may install this after you've done some work on your website and uploaded some images. Well, you can retrospectively go back, bulk resize the images that you select and just cut down on the whole space without losing all the links and everything that you have throughout your website. So that's our top five plus one bonus Insanity plugins for WordPress. All the links are in the description below. Any affiliate links are in there and marked as affiliate links. I'll link to all the tutorials or all the actual playlists for these tutorial series so you can get all the best information you can about using these plugins and products in your website. 
Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below to be kept up to date with all the content we add on a weekly basis. If you've got any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else we have on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. We read everything you post and try to answer every question asked. Well, until next time, take care.